What is up guys, my name is Vakun2002 here. I have just returned back from my week-long vacation, which was nice and relaxing, but to bring you guys back a 100% brand new and solo camel swap glitch working right now in Warzone and Modern Warfare. Now, right before we get into the video, here's a quick word from my sponsor. If you guys are wondering how I got these master camos instantly unlocked and camo swapped, it was actually done through a service in which you guys can get the same done on your own account through Diamond Resupply. Click the link in the description below and be sure to use code Vakuna to get 10% off your order for any of these services that you're interested in, whether you want a custom prestige, custom stats, or of course custom unlocked camos you can use in Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare. This means your guns can have camos such as Cold War and Vanguard Dark Aether, DM Ultra, Atomic, and even Damascus all on your own account. All these services are unbannable, fast, and heavily supported with every single purchase. If you have any questions or need any type of support, be sure to join their Discord which is linked right on their website. Now back to the video. So the requirements for this glitch are quite simple. You guys are going to need to have a mouse plugged into your platform and of course you will need to have the camo unlocked in order to camo swap it. And last but not least, you'll only really need Warzone and Modern Warfare installed. You don't need co-op or anything, it's just those two games you need. So. To start this glitch up, go ahead and head onto Modern Warfare. Once you guys are in your own lobby, go ahead and hit your social tab and go to your recent players or your recent squad and find someone that is in a Modern Warfare game and make sure you have the option to click on their profile as you see here. I'm not sure if this does work on PC, if any of you guys can let me know, that'd be gladly appreciated, but I know for sure this does work on console. As you see here, make sure you can still actually join them through the console notification thing. But once you guys found that one person you can join off of, Go ahead and go back into the game and switch the filter from core or hardcore to the CDL settings. Then you want to back out of Modern Warfare and go into Warzone. Once you guys are in Warzone, go to your loadouts, pick any loadout you want to use for this glitch and go to the weapon selection screen. At this point, find the weapon that has the camo unlocked on there, so I'm going to be using this Pellington. And make sure you do have a custom mod for it so you do have the armory option available. And then you want to simply plug in your mouse and hold your left clicker hovering over the armory option. You want to make sure this is held down the entire time. Then using your other hand, go ahead and join that person using your controller. Now what should happen is it should say joining game session and then it should tell you that the server is full. You need to make sure you get this error screen saying that the server is full or else any other error screen isn't going to work. Once you got this error screen, go ahead and let go of your mouse clicker and what should happen is it should bring up the armory option. Go ahead and click on whatever blueprint or just the base gun if you want. But once you click on that weapon, it's going to be placed right into your Modern Warfare CDL loadouts. Now in this case, I chose to do this with a Cold War weapon because I do want to put Dark Aether on my Modern Warfare weapon. And I'm going to show you guys a little later on in this video how to do this pretty much with any other weapon. But this is just to show you guys how to put Warzone camos onto Modern Warfare weapons. So now that we've brought a Warzone weapon into the CDL loadouts, what you want to do is switch out the filter from CDL to Core or Hardcore. Go back into your loadouts, go onto that same exact loadout number you're on, and go ahead and place in a Modern Warfare weapon that you want to have camo swapped onto. So I'm going to be using a shotgun. At this point, once you've gotten the weapon in there, go ahead and switch it back into the CDL loadouts. And then after that, click on any featured game mode. I chose shoot the ship and quickly go into your loadouts. Go onto that same loadout with the Warzone weapon. Go to the camo selections and hover over the camo category using your mouse and hold down on the left clicker on it. You want to wait until it does put you in a lobby. What should happen is it should take you off the camo selection screen as you see here. And at that point, just let go of your left mouse clicker and boom, it'll be placed right back up. And you guys can choose any camo and you'll be able to place it on your Modern Warfare weapons. So if any of you guys are wanting a lot of Modern Warfare weapons to be camo swapped, this is the perfect glitch to do because it's 100% solo. And moving on to actually how to do this with Warzone weapons, it's quite simple. You just pretty much do the same thing. Instead, you wanna just make sure that you do have the hardcore and core filters on. Go into Warzone, pick onto any loadout, go to the weapon selection screen, hover over your the armory option using your left mouse clicker and hold it down. Join that random person in a Modern Warfare game and make sure you do get the server is full and go ahead and let go. Click on whatever armory blueprint or just the base weapon and it'll be placed into your Modern Warfare loadouts. At this point, you can just do the other part of this glitch with the CDL part 
and you guys can pretty much just import any weapon into CDL loadouts or any weapon into your Modern Warfare loadouts and just keep camo swapping all alone without really needing the help with a friend. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you guys noticed so far, I actually just got a brand new mic. Uh, my girlfriend bought me one and I'm absolutely loving it. Let me know if you guys like it too. I'll try and make some adjustments to make it sound better. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Be sure to go check out the founders. Their links will be down in the description below. And yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. Bukin 2002, signing out.